Hello, this video is to show you how to smooth in the bottom of your tripod mug. So you should have attached the button on the bottom and pinched the feet so that they are nice and well connected. And then you can kind of lightly tap your mug on the table to get like a, a stronger base and a more sturdy base. Um, this mug has been sitting for a couple of days wrapped in plastic, so it's leather hard at this point. So if your mug is super soft, um, you might want to let it sit out for a little bit before you start manipulating anything on it. Um, but as far as smoothing in the inside, there are going to be these kind of deep cracks where the tripod feet were connected. And what I'd like you to do is to take a little bit of clay and roll some tiny coils, like the size of a worm. So I'm just gonna roll out one coil here and then split it into three pieces. Okay, so there's my three pieces. And I'm going to use a pencil eraser to actually push these pieces into the cracks inside of my mug. If you don't have a pencil eraser, you can just use the bottom of anything to do this. So um, a pen, a, pen uh, a marker, uh, one of your popsicle sticks from your kit, whatever it may be. We gave you a pencil in your kit though, so hopefully you still have that. Um, so I probably don't need this much clay. I'm just gonna cut these down to all the same size. And, I'm basically just going to take these coils and lay them inside to fit inside those cracks. So if you can't get them to lay down where you want them, don't worry, you can always maneuver them around with your pencil when you get there. All right, so I've got my three coils sitting in the bottom of my mug and I'm just gonna use my pencil now, kind of push them around, make sure they get into the corner of each tripod foot and then once you get it into the corner, you can just literally push it in. So here, let me zoom in a little bit. I'm going to push this coil into the corner of that tripod foot. Just using the pencil eraser to kind of just continue pushing. And then I'm gonna push this coil into that foot. Fill in that gap in the corner. And then I'm going to push this coil into the last foot. All right. So I have a little excess clay, but that's really no big deal. Um, the, ba the base of these mugs are pretty hollow because of the tripod feet. So if you have extra clay that overlaps, just squish it all together in the bottom there. Okay. And then once it feels like it's pretty well connected, you can just go in with your eraser again and smooth it. So before I was like tapping it, and now I'm just gonna use my eraser to smooth it. And it doesn't need to be perfectly smooth, but try to get it as smooth as you can get so that you don't have any big ridges in the bottom of your tripod mug, okay? So I'm continuing smoothing. And then when you feel like you've got that clay pretty well controlled at the bottom of the mug, just make sure that you are smoothing the seam where you connected your two walls together from the inside and you are pinching and smoothing the rim. So those are the last things you wanna do before you attach your handle. And if any extra clay comes off on your eraser, just pick it off, set it aside and keep going. So I'm just trying to smooth in the base a little bit more. I had a lot of clay down there. It's looking pretty good. Decently smooth. And now I wanna worry about the seam. So I've actually already smoothed my seam, um, but it could use a little bit more. I can see it. Let's see if I can focus on that. I can see it on the inside right here. So again, I'm gonna use my pencil eraser or my craft stick. So you can use the, you know, your popsicle stick as well to go in and smooth up the seam on the inside. Just gonna flatten out the base a little bit more.
All right, so my seam is smooth on the inside. And then re remember the last thing you wanna do before you attach the handle is to work on the rim. So the rim, you just need to pinch and then use your fingers to smooth. So pinch it so that it has a smaller opening, or I'm sorry, a smaller uh, like thickness. You don't want it to be so thick. You want it to be easy to drink out of. And then I'm going to use my fingers to smooth it back out. My mug has gotten a little too weather hard because I let it set out during a class period. Um, so at this point, I don't really have <laughs> the best example to show you, but I am working on smoothing that rim and pinching it. And any little scratches or inconsistency or clay crumbs that have gotten on the mug at this point, you can just kind of go in and smooth away as well. All right, so my rim looks good, my base looks good, the seams look good, and everything feels like I'm ready for my handle. I'm gonna wrap this tight until I'm able to put my handle on. All right, keep it wrapped as tight as you can. All right, bye, thank you.